subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for latest videos. Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see the middle one third rule which is there for a rectangular section. So let's get started. First, I'll draw the rectangular cross section. So here I have drawn a cross section of a column which is a rectangular cross section having width B and depth is D. Now middle one third rule would be indicating an area at the center of this rectangle and that area is the location for the eccentricity that is if we place the load anywhere in that area we are going to get no tension in the section for this column. So I would be starting this middle third rule or middle one third rule by using the no tension condition which is Now this is the no tension condition that is the eccentricity should be less than or equal to z upon a and how this relation comes for that you all can refer my video in which I had explained the no tension condition. Now at first I would be finding ex that is the eccentricity with respect to x axis and that would be zxx upon area so here zxx is ixx upon y and divided by area ixx for a rectangular section is bd cube by 12 then here it is divided by y y is we have to see this x axis because we are taking the moment of inertia about this x axis and it is cutting D so Y becomes D by 2 so here in the denominator we have D by 2 then divided by area so that becomes if I take the reciprocal multiplied by 1 upon area and area for this rectangular section is B into D so that is B into D Next, after the cancellation over here, D gets cancelled, here there is D and D that becomes D square, so D square gets cancelled, so D square would be cancelled here and D remains, then B and B will get cancelled out. So we are getting only d by 6 here. So ex is less than or equal to d by 6. Now ex means eccentricity with respect to x axis. That is we are measuring the distance from x axis. So when we measure it from the x axis onto one side. This distance is Ex which is D by 6. Similarly from the x axis onto the other side measuring the distance from the x axis because eccentricity is with respect to x. Now here we get Ex as D by 6. This Ex is D by 6. Addition of them becomes D by 3.
then similarly i'll go for eccentricity with respect to y axis so e suffix y again no tension condition it would be zyy upon area zyy is iyy upon y divided by area iyy for a rectangular section is db cube by 12 divided by y and since we are taking the moment of inertia about the y axis it is cutting this b so y becomes b by 2 then this division would be converted into multiplication if we take the reciprocal of area so 1 upon a and a is b into d so here also after the cancellations b and b is b square so b square gets cancelled and in the numerator b remains then d and d will get cancelled out so ey is less than or equal to b by 6 this is the eccentricity with respect to y axis so measuring the distance from y on one side it gives me ey similarly on to the other side so ey is b by 6 b by 6 plus b by 6 becomes b by 3 So when I join all these points, here I am getting this area and it means the meaning of this area is whenever inside this area if we are placing the load or if we are placing it onto the boundary of this area there will be no tension in the column but the moment we move the load away from this area anywhere outside it it will result in tension in the section so to avoid tension in the section which is not desired we have to place the load in this region for a rectangular section and that is nothing but the middle one third rule at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching